Hello everybody, today we are going to keep going through our 110 item box, but first we gotta go over this. Um, this is a, let me just pull up the, this is a WoW Culture um, gold label skirt. Um, my wife labeled it as a bondage cage skirt, uh, so I guess that's what the style is with the um, like interlaced um, strips. Anyway, um, it's a size small, and it sold for 40 bucks. Um, this did come out of our 110 item box, so on average, I believe we paid four dollars for it. So pretty good, um, pretty good return on investment. Um, all right, and this also serves as the first, technically the first what sold video. So throw the sold on there, and now let's get right into the intro. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and along with my wife Angelique, we're uh, resellers on Poshmark. Um, the link to our closet will be in the description below. Now, let me just adjust this down a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, um, so, if you didn't watch the last couple of videos, uh, we are going through a 110 item box. Uh, it weighed 61 pounds. My wife got it off of um, Instagram uh, from a person called Fashion Without Trashing. Um, she does not currently have any more available, um, and I don't know that she will get any more in the near future, so please don't um, please don't look at this video and then decide, hey, I'm gonna hit her up for one of these boxes. Um, that's just, um, not that's not what this video is for, but do give her a follow on Instagram. Um, she does do a lot of, uh, she does do a lot of reselling content there, and she might have a YouTube channel, I don't know. Anyway, um, as before, these are things that I shot, and um, some stuff has started to sell out of the uh, box, so if there's anything that has um, already sold, I'll put it in the intro. Um, but for now, uh, we have a Storia. Uh, this is a large, and this is a cami, um, there goes my laundry, uh, so it's, it's a cami, but when I shot this on the mannequin, it's a little bit wide at the bottom, so it kind of comes out, does like kind of that T, that tank top dress thing, um, and I don't even know if this is actually considered a cami or just a tank top, uh, because this, it's not adjustable at the top, um, well, I'm not really... I'm not familiar with this brand, um, or as I'm not familiar with several brands, but so I don't know how well it'll do, but it is a nice piece nonetheless. Okay, up next we have something that is new with tags. Uh, this is a Need Supply Company, and that's not showing up at all, so let's just um, let's see if I can find the actual tag on it. Um, there, there it is. Hard to tell which. Um, Oh, uh, Euro Studios. Um, it says needs supply company. So that might be the uh, that might be the um, store that originally sold this. Um, not necessarily the tag for the item. Anyway, this is a skirt, and this did give me a little pause um, at finding the tag because. Normally, I think the tags go on the back, but this skirt has kind of this um, little bit of flare, this ring on the side. It doesn't actually hold it together. Um, that doesn't come apart or anything because it does have a zipper um, in the back, but I think that zipper is supposed to go on the side because that's right where the ring would be, and I wouldn't think you'd want that ring on the back, so I think it's like this. Um, anyway, when I shot it, that's how I, um, that's how I positioned it when I shot it. Uh, so if it's, I guess you can wear that ring anywhere. It's a skirt. Skirts can twist all the way around. They don't have leg holes. You can wear them backwards, forwards, and no one really will notice. I don't wear a lot of skirts, so I'm not um, up to, uh, I'm not up to date on skirt etiquette. All right, up next we have something from the JS collection. Uh, this is a size 10. 
Um, and this is a oh, whoops. This is a dress. Um, it does have. Oh boy, I might have to reshoot this because I did not notice that this had a strap when I shot it. I think I shot it like like that. Uh, and appeared to give it strapless, but it does have a single strap on the side and you know that's actually positioned where it could be a strap if you needed it to be. I thought that was just a, one of those things that's used to help hang it up. Um, anyway, uh, this is a purple dress. Uh, as you can see it's got the uh, little like fabric flowers on the side. Um, probably something that's for a, um, a little bit more festive special occasion. Um, and, I mean, it does have a liner on the inside um, and the um, kind of semi-transparent, um, oh, no, uh, translucent, that's the word. I remember my um, eighth grade science. Translucent um, outer layer with a opaque liner. And it does have the zipper that goes all the way down the back. Um, so it's like pretty much every other dress. <laughs> okay, moving right along, we have, oh, I, I remember this piece. This is, oh, nope, this is not the piece I thought it was. This is an Everly, and it is a top. Um, it does have the tiers on the sides, on the sleeves, sides. <laughs> and it does have the single button in the back um, for getting your head through there with ease then buttoning it up. Um, but it's just a pretty standard top. Again, I'm not familiar with a lot of... The, I haven't been familiar with probably about like 60, maybe 70 percent of the brands in here, but my wife um, has... she's... who is a bit more... Um, she's a bit more up to speed on all the brands and she's she's told me that all the stuff in here has been really good. Okay, this brand I do know. Um, it is Forever 21, and this is new of tags, and that tag is Forever 21. So it's not just uh, it's not just the store tag. It's actually what they sold. It was actually sold at Forever 21. Uh, this is a top um, with the um, lace pattern on the outside and a liner, um, and it does have an open back, and it has kind of that. Um, that illusion of creating a wrap uh, on the front with the two pieces of fabric that kind of go crisscross. Um, and if you can see here, there's the two buttons to keep it secure, uh, but it is open back, uh, which is why I can see all the way through it and do this. All right, and. Okay, oh, my hat's a little low. You can't see my lovely face. Okay, up next we have a sweater. This is um, a Theory. Um, it is a medium. Now Theory, I have heard of this brand. Um, it's a pretty good brand and it's actually a really nice sweater. Um, no no um, damage. Um, it is something that I do look for a lot in sweaters just because we did get burned uh, with a sweater fairly recently um it was some well fairly recently it was something i was shooting and it just it was same like style as this where it's kind of like a knit uh but it just had it had little holes um in some spots and they're really hard to see unless you kind of just because of the way the patterns are they're hard to see unless you actually like kind of flatten it out and go over every inch um but i have looked at this um no holes um, so definitely a great, great sweater that'll do really well once we get around to the colder months. Um, okay, up next is another sweater. This one is a little bit thinner, so maybe just a long sleeve shirt, but this is an Everlane. It is also a medium, and wow, that is not showing up at all. Let me just see if I can... Uh... There we go. That's better. Okay, um, and it is another dark sweater. Um, again, no holes, as has been the, um, as has been pretty much, there hasn't been a whole lot of pieces in this, um, in this reseller box that, yeah, it came in a box, 
um, that have been damaged. So we have got we have been really happy with this box so far. Um, all right, up next we have my. Well, uh, it's not focusing, but I'm sure you can guess what it is because of that little symbol right there. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. Um, this is a slim fit, uh, small to medium, and it is, in fact, a male shirt. Um, I, we don't have a male mannequin, so I put it on the female mannequin um, to shoot it. Uh, yeah, and I can tell it's a male button up shirt because no buttons to hold the collar down and the buttons are on the right side. Um, and I don't know that there's a whole lot of female shirts that have these two, um, that have these um, shoulder buttons, which I don't even know what they do. Um, my wife told me not to speculate on what they do, um, so I'm not going to. All right. Moving right along, we have an H&M, a European 38, a uh, US 8, and this is a dress. Um, now, it is a little bit asymmetrical because it does have this um, piece of fabric on the one side, um, right there on the right, and it does, does not zip up in the back, which I don't know that you would really need to zip up in the back with this uh, style where it's a where, if, where it's a V neck because you can shouldn't have any problem getting your head through a V neck. Um, oh boy! <laughs> if you do, um, if you do, um, I, I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, this is a it's a really nice dress. Um, it's got that white flowers on that black pattern so some you know a lot of dresses have flower patterns on them and this is no exception all right moving right along um, we have a um, we have a Zara basic um, I have we have been doing pretty well with Zara's lately um, I say that and the we've been getting a lot of Zara lately. There's actually a lot of Zara in this um, box, so maybe maybe like proportionately, maybe per Zara, we've not sold a lot. But that's just because we've added a lot of Zara recently, and our older Zara has sold. Um, so this does have the um, tie in the front with that V neck. That, as I said, with the last piece you should not have any problem getting your head through and that tie will keep it nice and secure um, when you do get your head through all right oh boy we have quite a few more items to get through so I don't think uh, we don't quite have enough to justify another video so I'm just gonna make this a longer video um, and there we go oh keeping but I will go a little bit faster. This is a Lucky Brand, as you saw. It is a medium. Um, I don't know that I would call this a turtleneck because um, it's kind of wide. Uh, I guess it's meant to fold down and kind of just give you a nice little scarf to keep your to keep your neck nice and warm. Um, but other than that, uh, and the sleeves are also a little longer, um, as you can see there. Uh, that's yeah, that's pretty long sleeve. Um, so. It's definitely something you could um, roll up the sleeves um, if it's warmer or tuck your hands in and keep them nice and warm when it gets to those cold, cold winter months. Which I say we are out of, but it did just hail today. Um, we had thunder and hail, so pretty weird weather um, that we're having. And if, you're, if you are really, really into me, you can use that to determine my location and what day I filmed this. Um, okay, so this is a Leif's Daltry, Leif Daltry, and this is a pair of pants. Now, these um, these are a size four, um, so they, I think, I do believe I put these on the mannequin, and they were just a little bit loose. Um, so I'm 
probably a round a maybe a bigger small smaller medium um, but they they were able to stay up so they're probably not quite a medium um, and I did have one thing that I noticed with these pants in particular and that's right there they had a bunch of um, stains on the bottom so I'll probably be able to get that out if I um, spot treat them and wash them um, but for now um, or maybe maybe I'll leave it up to Angelique if we list them like that and just sell them with a discount. Uh, but I'm going to set them aside just because I think she'll probably want to spot treat those and, um, and wash them. All right, up next is a Fury. Uh, this is a size zero. It um, had no stretch, so I kind of just put it on top of the, um, the legs and, you know, it sat there. <laughs> it wasn't too noticeable in the picture. Uh, anyway, this is a little mini skirt. Um, it kind of reminded me of a hula skirt because it has these little um, these little tassels that go all the way around. Uh, that's probably not the proper term, but they kind of shake. And uh, so I'm going to call this a black hula mini skirt. Um, it does have a zipper on the side, so um, it's easy enough to get on and off. And it also at the top has a hook, but it is missing. It has a hook, but it is missing the loop right there. So it is just the zipper, but that's plenty secure. Okay, I hope I don't tangle those up when I put it into storage. All right, up next, I think we're going to go through a series of skirts. Um, up next is a Bruce 2 or Bruce II because it is the Roman numeral. Um, and this is a, not a mini skirt, just a regular skirt. Um, maybe longer than a regular skirt. I don't know, what are the types of skirts? I know if it has a, a poodle on it, it's called a poodle skirt. And I know if it's short, it's called a mini skirt. Other than that, I don't know. Anyway, this is secured with three buttons right there. And on the inside, it has three buttons right there. So, and I don't think it, those ones on the inside, nope, it's one size. And that size is, that size is, well, it fit on the mannequin, so the size is a small of some variety. Um, so probably a, somewhere between a 27 to 29 inch waist. Okay, up next is something that I don't know if I want to sell or not because it is a Disney Cinderella skirt. Uh, this is a large. Um, now, I don't believe my daughter has the Cinderella dress. Uh, I don't believe my daughter is a um, an adult size large yet because she is three. Um, so she would be able to basically hide entirely she would be able to use this as a um a blanket <laughs> she only comes up to she only comes up to my knees so no i'm not saying okay um again i would like to apologize but this is a disney cinderella dress um it does it is really cute and i know my my daughter's really into Disney princesses right now, so she would absolutely love that. Um, I've seen Frozen 2 more times than I'd care to admit at this point, um, and it just came out um, to streaming earlier this month, so yeah. But this is not a this is not a movie review channel. This is a reseller unboxing, so I will keep my opinions on Frozen 2 to myself. And instead, I will look at this next piece. This is a KJ, and this is a vest. Um, now it does have the um, it does have this buckle in the front, which keeps it together. And I don't think it has buttons or a zipper um, in addition to that. So, uh, yep. So that's all it has to keep it shut. It does have. It does have 
quite a bit of pockets for a vest. It has one, two, three, four pockets. Um, no, I'm not sure what the... Oh, it is a size 2. But it is actually very nice and should do great in the warmer weather. Definitely a way to say fashionable and functional. Okay, up next, I thought that was one piece, but it's actually two pieces. Um, up next, we have a sheen large skirt. And this one did, I did put this on the mannequin. Um, I ended up using just a little bit of uh, tape to hold it up. Um, so if you would, if you do look at the pictures, you'd see kind of it is a little bit looser. Uh, but it has the standard zipper and hook on the side. And over here, it has this um, part where it is knotted but um, that's not really for adjusting it, that's just for fashion. Although it does, um, it is actually a knot. It's not like sewn like that or anything. So I guess you could adjust the positioning of it if you so desired. Once you buy the clothes, I do not make any judgments on what you decide to do with them. Okay, up next we have a privy. This is a small, this is another mini skirt, and it has this zipper that goes all the way down and detaches in the front. So um, that was very unique. Um, I didn't, I've never seen a skirt that actually went all the way where it would unzip into just one flat piece. Um, so, what? That's... And um, the skirt is, it is a corduroy skirt. Um, I don't know if the little grooves show, eh, yeah, they're showing up on the camera right there. Um, and no pockets. So I don't think any of the shirts I've shown have had pockets so far. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am a fan of pockets on skirts for reasons. Mostly that I don't like to carry things. Um, up next, we have another Zara. Uh, this is a snake print dress, or snake print skirt, um, and it is another skirt with no pockets, but it's got that snake print. I believe that animal print clothing is still in style, so I think that'll do nicely for us. Zara and animal print. Great, good, good item. Okay. Up next, we have an 860. Um, this is a top, and I don't know what we decided to call this print. Um, I wasn't sure if it was just like a... Yeah, I really don't know. Um, I'm sure there's some animal that has this pattern, um, but... I'm not aware of it. Anyway, it's a simple top, um, v-neck, and no, no buttons, no zippers, nothing, nothing to check. All right, up next we have, ah, this is the piece I know. This is a Michael Kors top. Um, it has the single button in the back. Um, and it's blue, as you can tell from the screen. Okay, and I don't know if I mentioned, but it is a large. Okay, and we are almost done. It looks like we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, that's three pieces left. Okay, and the first one is a Vince. And the tag's coming off there, the, both the tags, the size and the uh, and the label. So we'll have to make sure to uh, be very careful so this doesn't fall off. Uh, but it is a size small, and it is a little um, a little, little, little sweater um, that you could wear um, over something. It does have a single... It does have a single button... Oh no, it, it's more than a single button. It buttons all the way up to 
it buttons all the way up to the neck, um, but it is a little shorter, so it would um, still have an exposed midrift. Longer sleeves too, so definitely, definitely a fashionable piece for probably, I would say, good fall piece. Maybe spring, if you if it is still cold where you are. Um, I said earlier we had some hail today, so good spring piece for around here. Okay, up next is a BCBG, BCB generation. Uh, this is a size 2 dress, and it is has this pattern now. I think this would be, this is kind of a pink, um, a pink Native American pattern. Kind of looks Native American-ish. I'm sure there's a proper term for that. I just don't know it. Um, and it does have the zipper in the back, as most dresses do. Um, that I can play around with and probably break. No, the zipper did not break there. Um, but there you go. And you know, I haven't been I haven't been looking at the camera this whole video to see if I'm actually showing doing a good job at showing stuff. I have my setup just a little bit different because I've had to move some stuff around recently, so I don't know. I do this off of muscle memory. Okay. And the last piece is this Reese medium sweater, V-neck sweater. Um, no pockets, no damage. Oh, just a, just a standard sweat, sweater, gray sweater. All right. So that brings us to the end of that pile. Um, I think that was around 30 pieces. So, um, this is going to be, this is definitely a longer video. I can't see. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. That was a 26 minute video. All right. <laughs> now that we got through all of that, if you enjoyed that, um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Be sure to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. I will be posting the new, the next part of this video. The next part of this box will come in that video that will be on Tuesday or Thursday. Um, in the meantime, uh, until I see you next time, this is, I can't do these long videos. This is just, brain turns to mush at this point. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff is below. Um, you know how to use YouTube. And if you want to buy any of these pieces, um, be sure to check out our Poshmark closet where they all will all be listed or send us an email at thedegan17 at gmail.com. Um, that's links also below in case I screwed that up. All right, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.